welcome back Flare community. I hope everyone's having a great day as usual and in this video we're going to look at scalability and how the Flare network is going to be able to scale linearly opposed to quadratically and we're going to talk about what this actually means. Now this is actually a three-part series and if you're yet to see part one or part two be sure to check them out. I have put a link in the top right. In this video Hugo really emphasizes what it means to scale a solution and we're going to see how the Flare network will connect everything by unifying liquidity and not fragmenting it. Let's jump in. So this brings us probably to one of the most important parts of what we're building. And that's building linearly rather than quadratically. And I'll come to what this means. So if you want to build bilateral bridges, to connect two, two chains, you need one bridge. To connect three chains, you need three bridges. To connect six chains, to connect four chains, you need six bridges. And so as you can see, those numbers are going up. And they're not going up linearly. So they actually go up in a quadratic form. And so in order to connect the top 100 smart contract chain with bilateral bridging, this is bridges between each chain connecting to every other chain. And not routing through something, just one bridge between every chain in that set of 100 chains. You would need 4,950 bridges. And that actually is an impossible task for any team really to build. And so we don't need that with layer cake. With layer cake, we can scale linearly. But the other thing is that we can create the same token on each chain. And what I mean by that is if you look at the bilateral case, if you have Ethereum on Ethereum and you move it to Solana, you get S ETH, Solana ETH. And now if you move that to Cosmos, you get CS ETH, Cosmos Solana ETH. But if you bridge from Ethereum directly to Cosmos, you just get C ETH. And Cosmos Solana ETH does not equal Cosmos ETH. And most DeFi applications on Cosmos won't necessarily take Cosmos Solana ETH. So therefore, your Cosmos Solana ETH may be less useful to you and therefore less valuable. And so it may not be worth one ETH. And you may need to swap it for Cosmos ETH in order to use it on a DeFi application. And so this is what we mean by fragmenting liquidity. You can imagine this is three chains. Imagine what it looks like when you have a hundred chains and millions of routings between those chains. Absolutely impossible, really, because all the liquidity is fragmented. So what Layer Cake can do, which is rather nice, is that even without routing the token through Flare, but just because Flare is securing layer cake, we can create the bridges for 100, the top 100 chains to allow tokens to flow from any of those chains to any other of those chains, not with 4,950 bridges, but with just 101 smart contracts. And that makes our job of building this system out much easier. And then secondly, and the most important thing, is a token issued on Cosmos, let's say, let's call that a, a wrapped ETH on Cosmos, coming from Polkadot, Solana, or Ethereum, or Flare, is all identical. Because there's one smart contract, it issues one standard token, and it's all secured by Flare doesn't necessarily have to flow through Flare, but it's secured by Flare, and the smart contract issues just one representation of wrapped ETH coming from any other connected chain. And that means that rather than fragmenting liquidity, we're unifying it. And that's really very valuable. And so in a world of proliferating chains, parachains, subnets, sidenets, and supernets, Flare can connect everything. And we're really excited about this system. So there we have it. The Flare network will connect everything and it's going to be able to do so very well by being able to scale linearly opposed to quadratically. 
bidirectional bridges is a very cumbersome task as each network gets integrated because it becomes exponentially more time consuming. Fortunately, the layer cake protocol solves that issue. And this is just one of the reasons why the FLIR network is a network that is built for the future. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't yet liked or subscribed, please feel free to do so. And until next time, I'm out. Mission control, we have liftoff.